In this short video, I will highlight the great features of the WP PhotoCeller plugin, but more importantly, I'd like to also show you how easy it is to install and set up this plugin and how quickly you can start selling your images from your website. When a customer who wants to purchase your images arrives at your website, they will see a user friendly display of all of your galleries. After clicking on a particular gallery, they will similarly be presented with all of the images in that gallery. The customer is also able to browse watermarked versions of your images. The purchase process with this plugin is also an easy experience, as we'll show now. So let's select an image that we want to add to the cart. And in the pop-up window, we can choose the type of variation we'd like to buy. So let's choose the quantity. We'll continue shopping because we want to add another image. So we'll choose our second image. And once again, let's select our quantity of the type of variation we need. So now let's view the cart. And in our cart window, you'll see a summary of all of the items that we've added. And now we're ready to proceed to the checkout. And we're now being redirected to PayPal. So after logging into the PayPal account, let's pay for the items. So the items have been paid for, and now we're being redirected back to our site and we've arrived at the thank you page of our site and the purchase has been complete. When the customer checks their email inbox they will see an email similar to this. In that email it will contain the details of the purchased items plus all of the download links and a link to the receipt. So just to demonstrate, let's click on a download link and as you can see each of the links are encrypted so people won't know where from your website the images are coming from. So let's click on the first one and we can save the image. So the image has been saved to our desktop and let's just see what it looks like and we can see here that we have a high resolution image which we just purchased. Also, if your customers want a printable receipt for their purchase, they just simply click on the receipt link and that takes them to a receipt page where they can view the, all the official details of their purchased items. Installing the WP Photo Seller plugin is easy. When you purchase the plugin, you will receive a zip file containing all of the plugin's files. To install the plugin, simply go to the plugin's menu and click on the upload link. Then upload the zip file from your computer. And then click the Install Now button. After your plugin has been installed, just click the Activate Plugin link. After installing and activating your plugin, you will be asked to complete some basic configuration settings. To do that, just click on the basic settings link. After completing my basic settings configuration, I will click the save button. So that's the basic configuration settings done. Now let's move on to creating our price list. So after configuring the basic settings, we will now need to create a price list. To create a price list, simply click on the price list menu and then click on the create price list button. A price list will contain all of your photo image variations which you want to offer for sale. You will also be able to choose any price lists you configure when you are creating your gallery. 
So let's now create our first price list. We'll enter the price list name. And in the digital download price variation section, we'll enter the name of our first digital download variation. And we'll call that high res for high resolution. And for the photo size of our digital variation, we'll say that this one is 100% for the high resolution. And for our price, we'll enter $10. And now we'll click the Add Digital Variation button. So our first digital variation was successfully entered. And now let's do another one. And we'll call this Med, med Res for medium resolution. And our medium resolution image will be 75% of the true size. And our price for this one will be $750. And once again, we'll click on our Add Digital Variation button. Now, in the price list settings, you can also enter physical variations. And we'll do that now. So our first physical variation, we'll call it a 65 by 45 inch print. So this is just a descriptive text to tell the buyers what they are getting when they choose this physical variation. And for the price of our print, we'll enter $45, and we'll click the Add Print Variation. So after entering our price list details, we'll scroll down to the bottom of this page and click the Save Price List button. So our first price list has now been created. We're now ready to move on to the next step. After having created our price list, we're now ready to create a gallery. And to do that, we've clicked on the gallery menu on the left-hand side. Now, once inside the gallery menu, we click the Create Gallery button. And now we'll start entering our gallery settings. First, we'll enter our gallery name. And the next setting is the price list. And you'll notice there that the price list we created earlier is available for selection. We'll select that. And next we'll set our watermark text which will appear on the images when our customers are viewing them. So here we'll enter anything we want and in this case we'll just enter a company name. And now we're ready to upload our images and to do that we'll click the upload button. And now we'll select some images from our desktop and drag the images into the upload window. So our images have uploaded to our site, and now we'll click the Insert Gallery button. And now we're ready to save our gallery. So we'll scroll down to the bottom, and we'll click the Save Gallery button. Our gallery has been saved successfully, and now we're ready to start selling our photos. This concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.